Resetting Windows is one of the most common way to fix issues with your Windows PC. But often people forget to backup their data, which leads to data loss. And most people don't even know that you can actually recover your lost data. So in this video, I want to show you guys how to recover lost data after a Windows reset. There is one really important thing you need to know. After you reset your PC and you realize all your important data files are gone, stop using your PC to store new data on it because the new data can overwrite the lost data, which can make data recovery difficult or some files will be missing. Now, let me show you guys a couple of ways to restore your lost or completely deleted data. First most common option you can use is system restore point. But sadly, you cannot use system restore point after a Windows reset. Even if you have created a system restore point, when you reset your PC, it actually deletes all the system restore points and it doesn't create a system restore point. On top of that, it doesn't even create a windows.old folder so in this situation you can't really use system restore point second method you can use file history this is probably the best way to restore your lost data if you have this thing turned down if you haven't then this will not work so here in my case you can see file history is off and i have the option to turn it on which means i can't use this option to restore my lost data so third option is to use data recovery software. So we're going to use Ease Us data recovery software. This is one of the most popular data recovery software out there. So we're going to download this here and let's install this. Using this software, you can recover accidentally deleted files, formatted drives, or in our case, uh, after a Windows reset. So here I'm going to select the local disk and I'm going to click on search for lost data. Once you do that, it will start scanning lost data and we're gonna wait for it to complete the scanning. And again, remember, the success rate depends on how much data is overwritten by the new data. So as I said earlier, once you reset your PC and you lost your data, don't store new data on your PC. If you haven't stored new data on your PC, you'll be able to successfully recover all your data. And I highly recommend you guys to use some kind of backup system. For example, you can use file history. So basically, file history will automatically copy all your data to another drive that you have selected. So simply search for file history in your search box and then just turn this feature on. Once the file history is turned on, it will automatically back up your data on the drive that you have selected. If you have only one extra drive, it will auto select that drive. If you have file history turned on, there are two ways to access and restore your files. Simply search for file history and you'll see this option. Restore your files with file history. Click on it and in here it will show you folders from your user directory like downloads, documents, music, pictures, videos. So let's say for example you want to restore files from a downloads folder. You can go to the downloads. Here you can select the files that you want to restore. You can select one or multiple of them and you can click on this green restore icon which says restore to original location. So let me show you guys my downloads folder. Let's say I'm going to delete this. Okay, it's gone from my uh, actual downloads folder. When I click on this restore icon here, if I go to downloads, those two files are back. Same goes for the other files and folders. Let's say you want to restore your documents. You can go to documents. There isn't anything. If there is, you'll see files in here. And another way to restore your files using the file history is to go to the drive which you had selected for the file history to save your documents. So here on that drive, you'll see a file history folder. Open that folder and here you'll see your username. Open that. Here you'll see computer name. Open that. And here go to data and go to C folder and go to users. And again, you'll see your username, 
open that up and here you'll see all the folders and files that are backed up here you can select the files and save it to another drive or let's say for example you can copy it and move to the downloads folder okay the scan is completed and it has found 111 gigabytes worth file so here at the top we're going to go into the type here we'll be able to browse the files by file type so if you want to recover your pictures go to pictures and here you'll see the different types of image formats so let's say you want to recover the png files you can go there and look for your png files in here if you're looking for jpg select the jpg and look for those files so here is our profile picture actually <laughs> you can also preview them and to backup you can select or multi-select and uh, you can click on recover and select the drive where you want to save it and just click on save so this is a user image like my user profile i can actually show you guys here so yeah <laughs> if you're looking for video files go to videos and select the extension type and look for your video files if it's documents go to documents and look for your documents here if you know where the file was saved you can go to the path section and then let's say for example user and my username and i can go to downloads here you'll see all the files that were in downloads folder if you had created some folders you'll also find those folders in here and you can select that folder and recover your data you can also select one entire folder and recover it just like that and again if you want to find the files by types you can go into pictures look for pictures videos look for videos documents look for documents and using this you can also recover data from different types of storage devices like sd card camera devices even the nas and linux devices if you have crashed pc you can also use this to fix your crash PC. It will create a portable Windows version which you can boot from the USB drive and you can access your crashed PC and back up your data. And that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment.